I'm Bill Blair from Moments in Time. In the early 1920s, Georgia's cotton farmers were facing labor shortages, the destructive boll weevil, and consistently bad markets for their crops. Those who survived these adversities were forced to drastically change their farming practices. They used better fertilizing, planting, and cultivating practices, introduced insecticides to kill the boll weevil, and diversified into other crops. But one local farmer, John S. Williams, picked the wrong way to solve his labor shortages. In February 1921, two special agents of the U.S. Justice Department's Bureau of Investigation showed up unannounced at Williams Farm in Jasper County. They had been sent to investigate reports that Williams had violated federal laws regarding peonage, keeping convicted laborers against their will, which was, in fact, little different from slavery. Faced with spending many years in a federal prison, the horrified Williams decided to do away with the evidence against him. Over the next few weeks, Williams and Clyde Manning, a laborer Williams had appointed his overseer, murdered 12 of Williams' black laborers. Two of the laborers were found drowned in Newton County's Yellow River, so the trials were held in the Superior Court of Newton County. By today's standards, Williams and Manning were indicted and tried very quickly. The murders occurred in February and early March, with the trial being held during the March court term. Williams continually professed his innocence, but Manning confessed his part in the murders and testified against Williams. Both men were convicted. The unprecedented thing was that for the first time in Newton County history, a prominent white landowner was convicted of murdering poor, ignorant black criminals based primarily on the testimony of a poor, ignorant black fellow defendant. John S. Williams was convicted on 11 counts of murder on April the 9th, 1921. Today, a Newton County moment in time. Newton County Moments in Time is a production of Blair on the Square, which is solely responsible for its content. For more information on this topic, go to blaironthesquare.com.